Hey, Sneak Lurks, back today. Yeah, back today we have Celentos OS 12.04.2. Yeah, Celentos. You know what that is, don't you? Yeah. Near Italy, okay. But it's Italian. It's Italian OS based, <laughs> based on the Ubuntu, basically, with Open Box and Razor QT. Now, you've now done a couple of Razor QTs over the period of time. It's still not particularly stable yet, okay? Although some people have found some workarounds for it. Now, this implementation of Razor right, is not a full implement, impl I'll tell you again, implementation. Well, mine, it's daytime, no, now drink it. It's not a full, full implementation of Razor, okay? It looks still more like LX Terminal and stuff like that, and LXDE and Openbox, but it's stable and it hasn't crashed on me, which is the main thing I was looking about, really, when I was trying it out. So it's going to be a real quick look round because it is Ubuntu based open box of Razor QT and I'll just show you a few bits and bobs that you can have a look at. Okay, so you may want to go and download it and whatever, and some, you know, Uncle Dory, as they say. As you can see, you've got me bar at the bottom here. I've made it smaller, obviously, because I want it to look a bit more like QT stuff at the end of the day. So yeah, so we've got our shutdown menu, time and date. Uh, I forgot what it is now. Oh yeah. Removal device manager and stuff like that. Volume, my Ethernet connection, blah 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 blah. Terminal over here, file manager, settings, and under here should be Chromium. Yeah, 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 it's taking its time now. Now, your homepage here is Google UK, because obviously I'm in the UK. But we're going to want to know more about the district because, you know, I've tried it a couple of times. The last time I tried it, I just gave up after a while. But this time, it seems to be nice and settled down and stable and works properly. So let's go to their homepage, which is linked on top of here on Crimion. And here we are. The Salientos.it, Italia. This is the homepage. Right. I haven't got any problems with the site itself. It's fine, okay? A few little bit problems I've got. You've got Windows Internet Security over here, okay? I know we've all got to make a buck or two or three or four, and times are hard, but hey, it says here, the project, the Open Invention Network, Salient, Salentos OS is part of the OIN, Open Invention Network, an organization for protecting the Linux world. Okay, so you want to sell other stuff as well, okay? I'm not knocking it, but you know where I'm coming from. Anyway, back to the, da the OS itself. You can download it from here, so I'll just go to the download page. No, see, there's lots of ads as well. The Ubox Salentos OS is 12.4.2 or the Razor QT one. So you get your choice of what you want. There is only two at the moment, so that's fine. Yeah. I'm not going to go gallery because we're already there, but that's where you can get it from. So that's that. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye to there. We're going to quickly round of what's available in it, okay? Bearing in mind the other ones are open box, stroke LXDE, okay? So it looks a lot like LXDE, doesn't it? Yeah. So you get calculator, the usual stuff. There's a few little problems here, but I'm going to come up to you in a minute. So you get calculator, catfish, the usual, LX terminal, screenshot taker, parcel light, X diagnose. See this problem here? So I'll go to the menu again, hang on. You see what I mean? If I go up to graphics and it's on a white bit, oh, this does it again still. The black applications uh, icon here comes up on every one. Look, see what I mean? You go down. So it actually covers up the other menu, the sub menu you want to look at. A little bit of a bummer, really. See what I mean? Yeah, see what I mean. All right, that's a little niggle, but it'll work on it. Come on, it all takes time to get things working. Okay, it all takes time. Anyway, back to graphics. You just get a document viewer. Oh, it won't go away now. Simple scan. I can't see the little middle one. Internet is Chromium is your web browser. Pigeon, Romina. This needs to be sorted terribly because the black things are looking out. I don't want to do it because I know what they are most of the time. Abbey Word is here. I'll just check what version it is. I bet it's 292 though. And I'm not sure how stable it is now. At the moment, I've had to stop using it for the 292 for a while because it just won't convert some documents, to be honest with you. But it may work for you, but not for me, okay? Okay. Back down to the menu. Okay. We'll go to other. So open box to check it out. And the synaptic package manager is here. Woo woo, lovely. Sound and video, Clementine, woo woo woo, my fave. And among others that is. And silicon for C D and D V D tools, okay. You also get SM player and a mixer. And the system tools. You check out well, it's gone. Come back. The Cairo Composite Manager for checking out your desktop stuff, that's alright. GW Package Installer for doing stuff like that. I'll go to the Task Manager so you can have a quick look at it, okay? And have a little look in the bug. Now we're using 177 megabytes of my RAM. And not a lot of CPU, really. It's just a two core on this one, so yeah, it's alright. Right, enough of that, because it is basically Ubuntu at the end of the day. If you right click the desktop, you can add new widgets to your desktop because it's Razor QT, so it should be KD-like. 
but you really, really need to download some more or they need to make some available to you. So you get clock, which I've already got, okay. And hello world, do I really want that? An icon view, blah, blah, blah. And notepad, that's all you can add about. So slide notepad and see what happens. Yeah, well, they plug it in. Yeah, it's all right. And there it is. And there's just stuff. We'll put notes on. It's all right, isn't it? It's all right. But say for instance, okay, we're going to move these around. So you have to unlock the desktop first, okay? So unlock it. We can move that around. Say you want it down here. And you would do the same for the clock over here. You might want to move that over there as well. You might want it in the middle. You might want it in the end. And you right click desktop again and go back to lock desktop. And there we have it. There you are. You can do whatever you want. Razer QT is not totally stable, as I said before. So you know, bear with it if you don't mind it. But bear in mind, you can install Razer QT on any Ubuntu or Debian system. So it's entirely up to you if you want to download this. Right, it's not a beta, okay? So I'm going to have to rate it, which is a bit naughty. Right. I'm not going to even show you around anymore, really, because it is basic Ubuntu at the end of the day. Right. Right. It's good and it's bad. It's good that I've actually got a Razer QT to run stably, really, really stably. So I've got it on my 1204 system, on my, another dual core machine, and it just doesn't want to play ball. It just things go missing and stuff. But this one actually works. Maybe they've took some things out to make it work correctly. I just don't know. Also, putting all the folders in here, I just don't like Ivo. One or two or three is maximum I would normally like. I oh, know you can take them out. Yeah, I know. I know. Don't 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 do it to me, baby. But yes. On the whole, it's okay to use, but it's nothing special, okay? But obviously, they're working it, and we'll see what goes down, okay? So anyway, out of 100%, I'm going to give this 83, okay? Because it's not crashed on anything, and it does what it says on the tin, but it's not nothing special, okay? Yet. Yet. So don't prove me wrong. Okay? All right, prove me wrong. Go on, prove me wrong. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.